The Lord's blessing upon all of you. This weekend, February the 4th, uh, we make an announcement in the info letter and the bulletin for you to read. It concerns a beautiful church, St. David's. You just have to read the details of it. But I'd like just to take a moment to thank so many people, some living, most of them dead, who've built St. David's Church and have given their heart and soul to caring for it. Many women and men who over the, uh, the last number of decades, the last 50 years since St. David's has been operative as a parish, who have given so much of their generous time and love to care for this church. Thank you, thank you, thank you. On behalf of all the parishioners who are continuing as part of St. David's, now called Jesus Light of the World, thank you for those who generously raised the money and built the church. As you can see from the message we're giving you today, uh, the church is going to continue to remain open. St. David's will remain open. We'll be doing baptisms, weddings, mass, whatever we need, but the church will be in the hands of new proprietors who are Catholic and who'll contain, continue the wonderful mission of this uh, beautiful place, this beautiful church. So I just want to take a moment at the beginning of my message just to say thank you and I invite you to read the message that's been given by the wardens. We are uh, in the, um, the Gospel of Matthew, it's year A, and we're now beginning to read through the Gospel of Matthew, which started last week with the Beatitudes. Blessed are the poor in spirit, blessed are the gentle, blessed are the meek, blessed are those who are merciful, those whose hearts are pure, blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, those blessed are those who are seeking justice and truth always. You're blessed in the Lord. As I mentioned last week in my message at the homily, the contemporary culture has been saying to us now for many years, you're number one. Everything is about you. You're number one in this world. We'll do everything so that you are completely satisfied in all ways. Well, Christianity is diametrically opposite to that attitude. In Christianity, Jesus tells us that you and I are number three. Number three? Yeah, you're number three. Not number one, not number two, number three. It's a fundamental Christian principle that we are number three. God's number one. God's number one. My neighbor, the people around me, my wife, my children, my, my husband, they're number two. I give my life for them. And I'm number three. I'm at the service of others. So the Beatitudes tell us that. And the Gospel of this weekend says you are salt of the earth and light of the world. And if you live like that, then you become an inspiration to others. But if the salt has become just sand, it's not worth anything. Our human fruitfulness becomes empty because we become self-focused, which is very much our culture. We need to become again a merciful people, people of pure heart, of service of others, who are patient with the weakness of others, we're constantly accusing policemen and teachers and nurses and politicians and everybody else for all their mistakes. You're number three. We need to be grateful for the service of others, calling each other to better generosity, but recognizing that just as others are frail, so we can be too. Example of a wonderful person who died this past week, his name was Deacon Silva Russell. What a wonderful man who served St. David's Church and Mary Queen of Peace with generous heart. He was a great Francophone fellow who worked as a dentrologist all his life. And he passed away and he spent a number of months in the palliative care unit. And he was just right to his last day, was just thanking the Lord for his many blessings, the Lord's blessings. He's going around trying to cheer people up in the palliative care unit and meeting families. And right until his last dying days, Silva Russell was serving people and bringing the joy of the gospel, which was deeply entrenched in his heart. He said frequently, I'm not afraid of death. I look forward to meeting the, door, the Lord. He was always joking when the nurse tried, was getting preparing to, to stab him with a needle with some kind of morphine, or I don't know what it was exactly. 
He started screaming bloody murder. Ah, how painful. She hadn't touched him yet. She says, sir, I haven't touched you yet. Oh, that's right, okay. When she did finally give him the needle, he remained completely stoic. A joker right to the end. The joy of the Lord. He was salt of the earth, light of the world. And he served St. David's with great generosity. He loved St. David's. And so he served the people there. And so now this beautiful church passes on to others. And But the gospel is not tied to any building. The gospel is tied into our hearts. And we are called to be salt of the earth and light of the world. And Jesus tells us, you're not number one. You're number three. So I wish you a blessed week. And I want you to maybe think about that this week. That we are number three. God's number one. I give him my heart. And my life is at the service of others. How can I make your day better? How can I bring justice and peace into this world? And I'm number three, the one whom God loves, but who is called to be at the service of others. So God bless you. Have a great weekend. And may the peace of God be with you and all those who preceded us in the faith.